California edition. I'm Brad Pomerantz. We're in Santa Cruz County today. Our road show continues. We are in the city of Watsonville. We're actually in Watsonville City Hall and we are joined by a one of the lieutenants with the Watsonville Police Department. His name is Saul Gonzalez. And you think about Santa Cruz County and you think about the beauty and the ocean and the coast, but the reality is there are some challenges. Yes. Um, there is a gang challenge that faces Watsonville and surrounding areas. Give us a sense of that, that issue. So unfortunately, you know, we're an immigrant community. Um, a lot of people working in the fields, in the agricultural right. fields. Um, what that breeds for is a lot of people um, that leave for work um, and their kids are here going to school hanging out for the majority of the day. So um, that I don't with, mind is devil's play. Yes, so you know that with a, a lot of our population being under the age of 18, mm -hmm. um, it creates a lot of uh, necessity for these young kids to want to belong to something, associate with something, and unfortunately the gangs are there to take them in. At the same time, we know that a lot of focus has been placed not so much on the suppression, but the intervention. Yeah, you know, it's, it's really prevention. It's you don't even let them to get into gangs to start. Correct. Yeah, it's really a two prong approach. Mm -hmm. You know, obviously we deal with the the gang members that are active right. um, and that are causing problems and hurting people and stealing. Um, so that's a suppression aspect. Right. But the really thing that we like to focus on is the prevention. You right. know, and before we used to go to middle schools, and now it's even getting younger. So really, we're, we're, yes. You know, we're we're trying to prevent kids from early as third grade and trying to steer them down the right direction uh, because they are entrenched with their uh, grandparents right. and their parents that are involved in gangs who can be young i mean They're, oftentimes people are having children at a younger age so the grandparents could be 40. absolutely you know, and as a result the parents could be 20 and still active very active in, in in their gang and so give us a sense of some of your successful programs i know there's an Adelante program that has yes. been successful caminos program that's been successful what are you doing well a lot of the programs that we got are, are grant funded um, right. and we'll talk about the Adelante program right um, and what that is again it's a two prong approach. It, it funds um, officers to work suppression and to um, make arrests. They're, they're target of the arrest. You know, we try to take gang guns off the street and drugs off the street. Um, but then the other uh, prong approach is getting that prevention aspect, you know, getting these kids at a young age, getting them through pro-social activities. Um, a lot of our police officers are involved. We have our right. police activities that are involved. Uh, let me ask you specifically about Adelanto, because I know the program, it's a two-year program. You finished your first year. Yes. And 33 youths participated. Yes. Tell us about them. Who are they and what did they do? And I know they just graduated, but <laughs> what are the results to the extent you know? So, so far we know the results are pretty good. And these kids are usually referrals. You know, I these see. are kids that are getting bad grades, that mm. are being true. And what age? Are these um, high school kids? These are from third. Oh, it's that low, like it's you said. It's that low. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we're getting referrals from schools, from parents saying, mm -hmm. hey, look, my kid's not going to school. He's not getting good grades. And those are all the, the risk factors that we look at that, you know, push kids in the gang. So we try to catch them very, very early. And what exactly, what did these 33 kids do in the program? We have a lot of different programs and they go through stages of, mm -hmm. of, their, of their development. So we put them in, in contact with a, a mentor, mm -hmm. either a young adult which, right, th that can be invaluable. Right, because, you know, again, we're going against the family structure right. or the, what they're, you know, leaning towards. Or there may not be much of a family structure. There At may all. be an absentee mother or father, whatever it may be. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So, you know, all of that, we include school therapy, counseling sessions. Um, we really try to get them involved in pro-social activities so they're not, so they, have, they know that there's something to do aside from hanging out with the gangs right. and, and causing so troubles. Right, and so are, is there an element of, I'll just call it play involved? I mean, are there centers where they can go to play basketball? or video games or get help with homework, whatever it may be. Absolutely. You know, we, we, we do partner with the school district. So part of that is is tutoring. Right. Part of that is playing, um, you know, sports through our right. police activities league. So we combine all those things to just give these people, these kids, a different look of, of what they're just looking at in as far as the gang world. And are they working with officers? Because, you know, third graders, you're still kind of cool. Yes. You know? Yeah. And so, <laughs> not uncool yet. Yeah, you're not uncool yet. So do they see you, uh, you know, out and about as part of the programs? Yeah, and it's funny, you know, when you get these young kids, even at first, because, you know, a lot yeah. of things you, you hear parents, you know, when they see a police officer, right. you know, behave what we're going to tell the police officer. You know, so we already looked at it as a, as a negative image. Will you come back, though, and tell us more? Absolutely. He's Sal Gonzalez. I'm Brad Pomerantz. It's California Edition.